Okay, so this is the review on the Pulse Perfection from Maybelline New York. This is a vibrating mascara, comes in a bottle like that. The tip's pretty much straight, but it's not flimsy like the other mascara that I told you about last time. So this is quite a strong, strong tip. So if you put it into the tube, you wouldn't have any problems breaking the tip off or anything like that. So these are all rubbery bristles and they're all pretty much the same length all around. The ends on either side are just a little bit wider than the middle, as you can see. And then on this end, it has a little press button here that makes the mascara vibrate. I'm just going to hold it really close to the camera so you can hear it. And this is what it looks like when it's vibrating. So what I thought I would do today is apply this mascara on this eye without vibrating and then on this eye with vibrating. Let's see if there's any difference. Okay, I'm going to start without vibrating. And I apply this as I would apply my other mascaras. I usually do two coats and I take it really, really close to the lash line. So it goes on really quite wet, but that's probably because it's a new mascara as well. And I have a bit of a problem separating the lashes, but it looks quite okay. Yeah, now they're starting to clump up. See that? And usually when I wiggle it, it should separate, but it doesn't. I'm just going to do the bottom. clumping together a little bit. Okay, second coat. Gosh, they're really clumped together, aren't they? But they're pretty long. Certainly not a natural look mascara, but hmm, I guess if you want a dramatic look, not having to use, use false lashes, then this would be pretty good. All right, well, yeah, clumped up a bit, but we'll just leave it at that. Now I'm going to move on to my other eye, and this I'm going to dip it in again, like I would normally. And now I'm going to press this button at the same time. Okay, first up, it doesn't tickle, it's fine. I can feel it vibrating though. Apart from having to hold this pressed, it's pretty much the same application. But you can see how the lashes separate a little bit better straight away. It's a little bit harder to get into the inner corner while you have to hold this pressed. But it's, it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Okay, we'll leave it at that. That's one coat. I'm going to do the bottom. That's the bottom done. I'm going to apply a second coat. I must say that I feel like the lashes are separating just that little bit better. But you can see some bits still clump up. Okay, this is the finished eye that I used vibrating wise. Um, and this is the side without vibrating it. So I can see quite a bit of a difference. These lashes are a lot more clumped up. These are a bit more separated. You can see that there are lashes in between. <coughs> Excuse me, that are a little bit clumped. But I think you will get that with any mascara. I like how it lengthens the lashes and how it makes them look a lot thicker, but I don't like using this without it. It actually makes a bit of a difference. So I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I think there is a slight difference. This side is a little bit more clumped up. It looks like I've got less lashes, but they're thicker. On this side, it looks like I've got more lashes and they're not quite as clumped. There's a slight difference there. Bottom lash wise, um, it's pretty much the same. 
a little bit more clumped up on this side probably than on that. But all in all, I must say I do like the mascara. It makes it nice and long. And yeah, it, it looks like you're wearing false lashes. Like little false lashes, not big ones. Here it looks like you are wearing false lashes. Um, just going to go over without the vibrating bit on this side so I make them even for today. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Price-wise, this one is quite expensive. In Australian dollars, I pay $25.00. Well, for my normal sexy curve mascara from Rimmel, I think it's eighteen dollars. So there's a bit of a price difference there from for about eight dollars. Um, no idea how long the battery will last. I guess um, when the battery is empty, that's when you chuck out the mascara, pretty much. Usually, mascaras last two to three months, depending on how often you use them. But yeah, I'll just go ahead with that and use this every day, and I'll let you know how long this has lasted for and how many applications. I get out of this with the battery um, not running out. So we'll see how that goes. But all in all, I'm I'm quite impressed. A little bit more difficult to apply while you press the button. Usually I would probably take it a bit further up here, the button, rather than having it there. Because you've got better control applying your mascara like this than like this. So I think that's something that could definitely change. Um, when I move on to this side, it is definitely a lot more complicated because I have to hold it like there and then apply it. Usually, I hold it like this and then apply it. Better control for me, but um, apart from that, I think the vibrating bit did make a bit of a difference. But if it's worth the $25, just stick with my sexy curve mascara. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!